Go ahead. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Premier. Thanks for taking my question. Thank you. This might be a bit long-winded, so That's bear right. with me, but I want to provide some context. Well, I get long-winded, I too. Spoke with the OD yeah. <laughs> I spoke with the ODSP Action Coalition this week, and they say taking away their $100 a month pandemic benefit is detrimental to some of them, to people who are already living on a limited income. They say their costs have gone up during the pandemic, having to take Ubers more frequently because they're afraid to use public transit, getting grocery delivery for those who are immunocompromised. So my question is, why did the province decide to end that benefit in July when it was clearly helping people who are barely making ends meet? Well, our goal through $17 billion that we're spending is try to uh, support everyone possible. And then there's a certain group that are collecting uh, ODSP that, are, that have part-time jobs. And if they keep the, the, the CERB going and, and their part-time job, they're, they're, they're actually up a, a few hundred dollars, not, not down. But I understand people are struggling. I, I get it. Uh, I fully understand. And we're doing everything we can to support everyone across the, the province. And, the best way to help people on Ontario Works or ODSP if they're healthy and uh, they're, they're able to work, uh, get them a job. 